Hey, it's me, Manic Mark, coming to you from the bunker system. I woke up this morning and my wife said, you're Manic. Go take a nap. Stop it. Look, it's, you can see it in your eyes, but what she didn't know is that it's Friday the 13th. It's, it's the Friday the 13th Arts Challenge. Arts Challenge. That sounds like something whoop de doo from downtown. It's a Friday the 13th. And it's my introduction to Friday the 13th art uh, challenge. Challenge! There you go. I'm not going to get into particulars because I'm just... This is just Manic Mark saying what he knows about it. It's crazy and it's out of control. And I just know what I know. I know that I was the winner. I probably shouldn't be... It's just my introduction. Somebody that's closer to it should do the more... Um, that's right. But some claim that I cheated. And I would like to claim right now that, well, knowledgeable, uh, experienced challenge introduction. Anyway, I did it one time, last, the last time, and, and I, I won the Wiener Award. Uh, it wasn't cheating, it was just... What? Speaking of cheating, there's no... There are rules! There are rules now. There weren't any rules last time. Now there's some ground rules. Why? Because it's just gotten so completely out of hand that there need to be some ground rules for people. Because if you haven't done it yet, you don't know what the hell's going on. And I don't blame you. I didn't either. I watched the thing two or three times and didn't know what the hell was going on. So anyway... I thought I would come up with my own stab. It didn't go over really well, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to put a link down here to the snake artist. Now, it's going to cost you extra money because when you click on the link, you're going to go all the way over to Australia. That's where he claims he lives. I claim that he lives in Steubenville, and he just pretends that he lives in this exotic location with lizards in his backyard. He has lizards in his backyard. That could be Steubenville. They have lizards up there anyway. Van sent me this trophy because I won last time, fair and square. You may have to pay extra an extra fee because of the, the, the wires longer to get over there. I don't know. Anyway, there's rules. You go there and you see the rules. But I'm going to tell you what the rules basically are that do paintings, make videos about the thing, put Friday the 13th art challenge on everything that you do so people can find it. When you put your auction, your paintings on eBay, make sure that they close. This is just, I don't think anybody's expressed this, but make sure they close like in the evening, like between like four or five in the afternoon and nine o'clock sometime in there so people can get home from work. Those people that have to go to work. <laughs> and I hope to pass this along. I added, I added the the prostitute Barbie, because I hope that when this, I'm going to explain this to the people that don't, anybody that's interested, I cut that part out because I was straying from the point, because people get home and then they can get something to eat and grab a beer and they can watch it online, okay, so if all of us are, all the auctions are kind of closing at the same time, there can be more noise and people, and more entertainment and people can switch back and forth after they get bored of watching one person for three minutes. It's like, oh, Jesus, I'm going to go see what... And it'll be up to you to be exciting. So, several of us, because there's online resources to make um, live TV shows, it, it not too horribly complicated. You know, you have a little mo uh, camera thing in your laptop or your computer. You can do a TV, you know, a live thing, which is... I'm going to try to do that again. And um, what the hell else? That's about it. This will go to a new winner, hopefully to me, again. Uh, they went to start the auctions at $13.13. .13. I'm going to do that. Uh, shipping is an issue. I'm going to get my own personal shipping thing. I did the flat shipping for $13.13. .13, and that barely covered shipping. Now, I sold about five paintings. That was awesome. Packed them all together and set them out. But if you're just packing one painting at a time, you know, you got you got to take that into consideration. I don't know how you're going to handle shipping. I'm going to do the flat thing 
again. And I'm also going to open it up to international, and that's, this could really hurt me. Um, because I know it's gonna, it could cost as much as $25 to send a painting overseas, all right? But the new winner can put something, uh, personally stick something on here, and then when it gets mailed to the next winner, they'll put something on it. It'll become a folk art piece. But what I'm going to do this time around is I'm going to make, I'm going to do the same. Let's just put it up on the screen right now. That's the Chicken George tribute painting. Let's talk about Chicken George for a second, uh, shall we? Chicken George, where has he been? What is he doing? I have a funny feeling that he's abandoned all the people that supported him and made, him, made Chicken George what he is today in his pursuit for fame and riches. Okay, so my tribute painting, I put it up on the screen again, you can see it. There's Chicken George selling his soul. There's his soul. You see the little black heart, the dripping black heart. There's his soul. He's selling his soul, or has sold it. There's certain rumors that he's selling paintings at a mall gallery, an art gallery found in a mall down there in Texas, wherever he lives. Shut up, dog's barking. I wonder what he's barking at. So anyway, today I got up and I realized that Friday the 13th is not too far away. Tomorrow is April Fool's Day. That would be a good day to start painting. There's gotta be a mall close by. And he sold his soul to the gallery owner to make a few extra dollars to have some, some place that he can go and, and hang his art with frequency that that's put it's in front of a of the buying public, the mall buyers with money. Because people go to the mall. When was the last time you went to a mall? I I had to go to the mall three years ago. It was three years ago I went to buy a computer at the mall. That's where the Apple store was located. And, and it was, I made a video of it. It was a highly um, stressful experience. So I don't go back. But now, Chicken George has been going to the mall, taking his artwork in. There's his artwork with the, with the, with the jewel. That's his artwork to, to, give, to give to the... I figured the store was to, uh, sold for cheap store. It's Souls for Cheap store, the Souls for Cheap art store run by the devil, the, the art, art, art gallery business devil that George has had a relationship with. But he still had to sell soul. You always have to sell your soul. No matter how good the relationship is or how good your art is, to go to that level, you have to sell your soul. And this is what George has done. This is why we don't see him anymore, because you give things up, like your friends, your good friends. You've given them up. You've cast them aside to become rich and famous. Your soul's gone now, brother. You can't get it back. I don't think you can get it back. Can you get it back? How do you get it back? That's the question. If you want your soul back from the devil that runs the Souls for Cheap art store in the mall, how do you get it back? I don't think you can. I think you're doomed to an eternity of riches and fame and damnation. Now, that's it for the painting. You can see that if you bought a painting from me in the last Friday the 13th, which I won, these paintings are going to rock so much more that you're going to want another one. Why? Because they're cheap and they have soul. I haven't sold my soul yet. I'm working on it! Okay, now I'm going to tell you what I'm doing here. This is going to go on too long, but what the hell? It's my video and I'm doing it the way I want to do it. This is, this is, this is a 13 inch by 13 inch, coincidentally, sized uh, record. It's a shipping container for records, okay? The records go in the inside of these shipping containers and they unfold like this. So what I've done, this one's still got tape on it. So what I've done is I unfold them like this, okay? And I and then and then I turn in, I turn the flaps over like this, okay? Then this gets flap flippity flippity flappity over and it gets this gets flippity flappity over and Basically, what you have is a box with the string they put on the back. You put a piece of tape on it. That's painter's tape. I just put it on there to keep it together. You put it like a packing tape. Some good tape, make it stick together. It's going to stay together. And you hang it on the wall. It's like pre-ready to hang on the wall painting, right like that. And, and I, I mail it like that. I fold it back around, 
and I, and I mail it like 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 this. Okay. Uh, I intend, I think, to put a piece of cardboard tape it over the front, you know, to avoid any punctures. But basically, I think it should travel okay. And I'll probably put like a completely worthless, a completely worthless record on the inside to stab help stabilize it. In this case. It might not even have the right record in the jacket. It could be this. It could be that's worthless. But this cover's more worthless. All right. To help stabilize it. And that's what you're going to get. I could even send it media mail. But I know if I do that, some of you will say that I'm cheating. Okay? So it's going to have to be parcel post. If it goes overseas, it's going to have to be first class. Then it will ship, and it's going to be about it's going to be about twenty five dollars. But I'm going to do it because how many people overseas will buy a painting? I know one may, but I have to say that, and I don't have it yet. So or else I'd be promoting Carl now. Uh, Carl is a filmmaker, and he's made some amazing films. But he started painting again. Why? Because of me, Manic Mark. He said, if Manny Mark can do it, anybody can do it. And he's doing it, and it's, and it's, and it's, it's been eight years, but he's doing it again. And I got one of his paintings on the way that I want to show, because I liked it. It's great fun. All right. And I, I hope he does it. Maybe he'll do it. I don't know. He's working on some stuff. I, I don't know if he went through and watched these videos. Through. He, yeah, he was around. That's right. I was just getting to know him. So he knows what the deal is. He can do this. Anyway, and Bert, you should, you should do it just for fun. Because it's fun, you know what the hell? Everybody should do it. I'm cutting out all the everybody. Everybody knows who they are, and and, and if you think this is easy when you're bidding, if you think this is just stupidity and fun and games and and evilness and meanness and yeah, pretty much. But it's a lot of work to be this stupid. So pay for it. <laughs> Bid high. Come on. What the hell? High is like not, it's not much, I'm telling you. It's not going to be much. And once again, I don't do this. I don't sell my paintings when I do. I ask a lot more money for them. So this, this, the Friday the 13th is your chance to get something for nothing, okay? It's just my way of, of alleviating the pent-up demand for my crap. <laughs> Anyway, it's all going to be these. are all going to be the style of painting I'm going to do. I may throw a CD in. In this case, it will have to be a gospel CD. Some kind of gospel CD. Because I, I really, I really hoping that George will find a way to save his soul. And this is going to be my way to send good mental vibes in his general direction with the soul-saving Christian gospel CD on the inside of the thing to whoever buys it so they can listen to it and they can send good soul-saving vibes in Chicken George's general direction. If we just take a moment of quiet together right now and think about Chicken George and his misspent soul, perhaps we can help him see the light. That's enough time. Never mind.